Hello, my name is Dylan Gann, and today I'll be doing Dennis Shepard's monologue from the Laramie Project. Thank you. Matt officially died in a hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado. He actually died on the outskirts of Laramie, tied to a fence. You, Mr. McKinney, with your friend, Mr. Henderson, left him out there by himself. But, but he wasn't alone. He had his lifelong friends with him. Friends that he had grown up with. And you're probably wondering who these friends were. First, he had a beautiful night sky and the same stars and moon that we used to see through a telescope. Then, then he had the daylight and the sun to shine on him. And through it all, he was breathing in the scent of the pine trees from the snowy range. And he heard the wind, the ever-present Wyoming wind. For the last time. And he actually had one more friend with him. He had God. And I feel a lot better knowing that he wasn't alone. Matt's, Matt's beating, hospitalization, and funeral focused worldwide attention on hate. Good is coming from evil. People have said enough is enough. And, 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 and I, I miss my son, but I am proud to be able to say that he is my son. Judy has been quoted as being against the death penalty. It has been stated that Matt was against the death penalty. Both of these statements are wrong. Matt believed that there were crimes and incidents that justified the death penalty. And, and, and I too believe in the death penalty. I, I would like nothing better than to see you die, Mr. McKinney. However, this is the time to begin the healing process. To show mercy to someone who refused to show any mercy. So Mr. McKinney, I am going to grant you life as, as hard as it is for me to do so because of Matthew. So every time that you celebrate Christmas, a birthday, the 4th of July, I want you to remember that Matthew isn't. And every morning when you wake up in your prison cell, I want you to remember that you, you had the opportunity and the ability to stop your actions that night. You, you robbed me of something precious and I will never forgive you for that, Mr. McKinney. I... I grant you life in the honor of someone who no longer lives. <sighs> may you live a long life. And may you thank Matthew every single day for it. Thank you.